Jefferson, it's been a privilege to be here, be with your people. And, uh, you know, as I was listening tonight, I kept having a, a word go through me that uh, I want to share with you. This is whether or not we have a future as a country depends on people like you and churches just like this. Uh, we're, we're the last we're the last round of defense. It's uh, first and goal and the other team has the ball. It's time for a goal line stand. And each of us needs to prepare ourselves to be used. And during the last part of when Brother Gibbs was sharing, a passage of scripture just started popping in my mind just like it was a neon light. Ezra, the book of Ezra, God used Ezra to bring his people back after their Babylonian captivity, to rebuild the walls, to rebuild Jerusalem. Now, why was it, how was it that God was able to use Ezra? I want you to listen to this. Ezra had the good hand of his God upon him. Now, the word hand is obviously an anthropomorphism. God doesn't have a hand. But it's, it's the symbol of power. It's the symbol of blessing. It's the symbol of approval. So how did Ezra, how did Ezra get prepared to have God's good hand upon him? Ezra had prepared his heart. Now that phrase prepared his heart means he'd made it the settled goal of his life every day to seek the law of the Lord, to do it, and to teach the statutes and judgments. You want to be God's man or God's woman? With God's power and God's blessing in God's time on God's business then you make it the settled matter and conviction of your heart to know the word of God there's a promise connected to that if you hide the word of God in your heart you will not sin against him and then to seek to do it not just know it but to do it and to teach it. That means to witness. That means to disciple. It means to multiply yourselves. You know, if Christians in America started doing that, it wouldn't take long for us to be the majority. It wouldn't take long. It wouldn't take long. I'll say it again. If it's going to happen... It's got to happen somewhere. Why not right here? It's got to happen sometime. Why not right now? And it's got to happen to someone. It's got to begin with someone. Why not you? Why not you? You can have the good hand of God upon you. And I almost feel sorry for the liberals if that happens. I said almost sorry. Our country's in deep trouble, but we've been in deep trouble before. And God's people, with God's hand upon them, can bring a victory. It's up to us. It's sobering. It's humbling. But it's also encouraging. It's up to us. It's up to us whether America has a future worth having. God's placed the future in our hands. Will we be faithful to him? I pray so. I pray so. If I had the ability to do it, I would clone this church and take it all over America. But of course, 
Christians can not only clone it, we can make, make churches like this all over America. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your church. And God bless the United States of America.